When I was in high school, Abercrombie & Fitch was the bomb. Everyone was wearing it, my wardrobe was full of it. The streets were filled with people who wore this American lifestyle brand. Not only that, but their sister company Hollister was also equally popular amongst us teenagers. Every cool kid in school would wear Hollister or A&F. It was just that. The clothes were comfortable, smelled great, the shopping experience was done in a dimly lit store with music blasting through the speakers. So what happened in the past couple of years that saw their rapid decline and how have they bounced back in 2024? It's time to find out. Let's go! Abercrombie & Fritch, a prominent clothing retailer, has experienced a notable decline in recent years. This decline can be attributed to several key factors that have impacted the company's performance and market position. One significant factor contributing to Abercrombie & Fitch's decline is its heavy reliance on specific brand, image, and target demographic. Putting great-looking people and models outside posing for Polaroid sets an unrealistic standard. As consumers' preferences shifted towards a more inclusive and diverse brand, Abercrombie & Fitch struggled to adapt and connect with a wider range of customers. The company's emphasis on specific body type and its controversial hiring policies generated negative publicity and alienated potential customers. As society's values shifted towards inclusivity and body positivity, Positivity, Abercrombie and Fitch struggled to align with these changing expectations. Furthermore, the rise of fast fashion brands presented a significant challenge for Abercrombie and Fitch. These brands offer a trendy and affordable clothing option, appealing to younger consumers who sought frequent style changes. Abercrombie and Fitch's relatively higher prices, slower product turnover made it less competitive in this fast-paced market. Additionally, the company faced challenges in adapting to the digital era and its growing popularity of online shopping. Abercrombie and Fitch initially lagged behind in establishing a strong online presence, optimizing its e-commerce platform. This resulted in a decline in foot traffic to its physical stores as customers increasingly turned to convenience and variety offered by online retailers. Furthermore, Abercrombie & Fitch faced financial difficulties during the economic downturn, which further impacted its performance. The company had to close several underperforming stores and implement cost-cutting measures to mitigate losses. Even right here outside central Hong Kong, I remember when their flagship store closed down. It was a sad day. In response to these challenges, Abercrombie & Fitch has made efforts to rebrand and revamp its image. The company has shifted towards a more inclusive marketing approach, diversified its product offerings, and invested in improving its online presence. These strategic changes aim to regain relevance and appeal to a broader customer base. So they hit rock bottom, but for some reason in 2023, their stock prices went through the roof. Abercrombie & Fitch, the fashion brand that's not usually associated with the cool kids anymore, had a surprising turnaround in 2023. Their stock skyrocketed by 285%, outperforming not only the S&P 500, but also the top performers in the market. This was a big change from the previous year when their stock dropped 34% due to tough times in the fashion industry. Inflation went down, the inventory improved, helping Abercrombie get back on track financially. They had a strong third quarter with a 20% increase in sales and higher operating margins. They even raised their guidance for a year Year, which is rare for retailers. Analysts expect their momentum to continue through the holiday season. They predict a massive 2,200% growth in earnings compared to 2022, and a 13% increase in sales. But it's not just about numbers for Abercrombie. They're also focused on regaining their cool reputation, which they lost in the mid-2010s. They're close to reaching their sales goals for 2025 and their long-term revenue target. So Abercrombie is making a comeback and aiming to be the cool kid once again. Let's observe and see how far they get. Thank you all for watching, liking, and subscribing. I'm Grant, and I'll see you guys in the next video.